I felt like re-victimized over again, like they're not gonna do anything about it, which they didn't. They said it was a he said, she said kind of case, and they closed it. So many women are going missing or show up murdered, and then we just think that it's they're another statistic. But no, it's this is a person, this is an indigenous person who has a family to go home to. That hurts. We are doing whatever we can on, on showing like, hey, we're gonna give you guys a voice because I know we know that it's been silenced, but no, we wanna make sure that you guys have a voice. Reports have found that indigenous women are victims of murder about 10 times as much as the national average. For Brute, I'm taking you to the Navajo Nation where I met with Melissa Keats. She's a 33-year-old Navajo woman who is rollerblading across the nation to raise awareness for missing and murdered indigenous women. She's trying to hit 300 miles. color my hand. You know, within the indigenous communities, we've just been silenced for a long time. The hand over our mouth just signifies that, no, we are going to be heard. And we are going to fight and do whatever we can with whatever strength we got and have that our ancestors protect us, ancestors guide us, that we are going to do whatever it takes no more stolen sisters. Today's the day we start our adventure. Like this week is gonna be challenging, I know it. I know I'm gonna be in pain. I know my feet are gonna hurt. I know I'm gonna cry. I know I'm gonna get mad. I know I'm gonna be happy. Now it's time to get on the road and just, just do it. <laughs> this is seriously heaven right here. Middle of nowhere, heart of everybody. Whoa, Dragging. it's really bumpy. In the 8060s, the Navajo people were displaced by the US military. It's called the Long Walk. The Navajo people had to walk almost 300 miles to go to a barren reservation in New Mexico. Many people lost their lives. That's why Melissa is trying to hit 300 miles on this route so she can honor her ancestors' journey and those who lost their lives. Oh. Ah! Once time, day one. How's it going? I feel like poop. <laughs> you won with the road. You won with the road. Now keep going. I was kind of thinking in the beginning, like this is just gonna be about the miles. Like we gotta get in our miles today. We gotta get in the miles tomorrow. But no, this is about the awareness. <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> They're all hooked around the back. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, almost fell over. <laughs> oh. oh. That was a far fall. <laughs> oh, I can't feel my right foot. Oh. Hi, Squish. <laughs> what are you doing? I need a shower. Ah. Oh, look at that. How are you doing today? Good, I'm a little sore. My Achilles actually, I don't know if I can balance on one leg, but it's pretty intense. Yeah, got some different color toenails. <laughs> it's not nail polish. 
Yeah, <clears throat> struggle is real. <laughs> All right, y'all ready? <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh. Another few miles, we got this. <laughs> I think being an indigenous woman, you know, you, you go through these obstacles in life, but you, see, you still keep powering through and you're stronger. I actually was a victim of domestic violence years ago. It was, it was a really hard time in my life. And, you know, he, he was an alcoholic. You know, one thing after the next with, you know, almost being strangled to death and that's where he almost killed me. The after fact was actually the hard part because they said it was a he said, she said kind of case, and they closed it. And so during that time of the domestic violence, I leaned on my roller derby family, and I realized that from there, roller skating was my outlet, like therapy. You can be whatever you want to be in that moment and just feel the breeze on your face and you're just free. This is my little medicine pouch. Just everything, cedar. So the bitter root is just to keep from any bad spirits or evil or helps with any pain, anything like that. So we call this warrior women paint. And we just put it on our face to protect us, especially as women. So just to give us strength. Miles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is pretty exciting. We're still doing it. The team is still rooting you on, and then you go to different places, and they're like, "We know what you're doing. Thank you so much." We're like, "Oh." <laughs> We've reached people from Canada, from New Zealand, all over. So I'm like, "This, this is great. This is awesome." 
yeah. It's like a dream come true, <laughs> but scary at the same time. <laughs> Being Navajo and Diné, when you're a baby, they take your placenta and your your umbilical cord and they, they bury it in a very special place so you can stay connected with your home. Feeling the pain on the road and thinking to myself, like, this is what my ancestors went through, you know, through the long walk. I haven't even reached 300 miles on my skates. And you realize the strength and, and how powerful the, my ancestors, our ancestors were. And you think, wow. God, that's so pretty. What? Thank you everyone for being here. Really appreciate it. And it's, uh, the cheering and all that stuff means a lot because we're just, <laughs> we're like in the moment of just stress on our bodies and stuff. And it's just, it's awesome. It really means a lot. Thank you. Yeah. When you put your feet down on the ground mm -hmm. and you wish for those things, you pray for those things, you talk about those things, it goes into the earth like that mycelium. Yeah. And it'll reach somebody else who's also sitting on the earth trying to find their way home. <clears throat> Although there's an awareness that you're, you're advocating for, you're still doing something that many people are losing hope, that it's hard for them to even come home themselves. Yeah. So yeah, thank you for everything that you're doing. Every, every stride you take. Have a good day, you all. Oh, thank yeah, you, yeah. 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 <laughs> Sajon, <John, I'm> what's <laughs> brings people closer together and it's reminding them just like the guy that went by yeah. we're all relatives we're all family we're right yeah. here and if we slow down right yeah. just enough we might see the people who need us to see them i'm gonna cry i've been emotional through this whole week <laughs> yeah those tears are healing yeah. right you think about all of the the people who've gone through here who, who've had to secure their heart and hold on to themselves for so long that it's hardened and they don't know how to cry or they don't have enough tears left, mm -hmm. right? And all you're doing is bringing it back. Okay. I think this is the most I've cried this week. <laughs> it's very, very emotional. Yeah, I really, really, really enjoy that and needed to hear it. I was praying on the way, you know, just for like closure. Okay, I can't tell where we are. Oh, there it is. <sighs> Woo! Where's the tape? Hey! New personal PR. <laughs> as big as yours and muscles to go with it. <laughs> it doesn't really hit you, I think, because the only thing you're thinking about is like, am I gonna survive today because I'm so tired? But then you see this and you realize it's all worth it. <laughs> That's like a big smile right there with like, oh my God, this is intense and I'm like ready to die. <laughs> yeah. It's surreal. <laughs> Getting on the road was hard, but we did it. And just, I didn't think I was gonna finish what I did and set a personal record of 47 and a half miles in one day. And I'll take that with me forever and <laughs> spread it and tell it to my grandkids one day. They probably won't believe me, but whatever. <laughs> I have the newspapers to show it. 